A folding bicycle is a compact set of wheels. In seconds, it folds up into a neat little bundle less than a third of its full size. The concept has been around for well over a century, and in recent years it's on the comeback trail, as urban commuters discover the advantages of downsizing this mode of transportation. A few quick folds, and this bike no longer carries the rider, he carries it. The bike can then be carted onto public transit or into the office, and that makes it a handy way to get around town. Manufacturing begins with the main part of the bicycle frame. They lubricate the rim of tubing, which makes it easier for machinery to pinch that end. The next machine uses several blades to trim the pinched end and cut a small groove. These exact cuts will enable the team to precisely install a hinge to the tube. Hinges are now gripped by a moving clamp, which angles them for contouring and the drilling of holes for bolts. It's computer choreographed to produce a hinge that will attach snugly to the main tube. Once the hinge has been bonded to the main tube, a technician checks the job by exposing it to a magnetic field. Variations in the field would indicate a flaw, but he finds none. So next, he secures the tube on a work table so a tool can make scoops in the other end. Scooping this end will enable it to interconnect with another part of the bike frame. A hydraulic tool then bends the main tube to give it a slight curve so it will arch around a bicycle wheel. You can see the difference in this before and after shot. The main tube of the bike frame now undergoes a process called shot blasting. An operator turns a crank to make the tube revolve in an enclosed chamber as nozzles blow fine grit at the hinge joint. This cleans up some of the rough patches. A little manual filing smooths the area around the hinge. Smaller parts of the bicycle frame take a tumble with ceramic bits and this agitation action improves the finish on these parts. Further down the production line, a worker locks the main tube in a jig. He butts a bracing tube to it at just the right angle and then melts metal into the joint in a process called brazing. As the metal cools and solidifies, it seals the two parts. He now fits the bottom bracket onto the scooped end of the main tube and brazes them together. The frame of a folding bicycle is much more complex than that of a conventional one-piece A-frame bike. There are six parts to assemble in tight alignment, and that means there's absolutely no room for error. Once the main frame assembly has been painted, it's ready to be joined to the rear frame. He attaches it by bolting the hinge. He twists the bolts to just the right torque. He tests the folding and unfolding action of the rear assembly, and then checks the lock to confirm that it functions properly. He installs the steering mechanism and wheel fork in the front of the frame, and bolts the front wheel to the fork. He verifies that the assembled steering column and handlebars are in working order and then slides them into place at the front of the bicycle. He adjusts the position of the column so it folds at just the right angle. He then attaches the rear wheel along with the gear hub to the frame. He secures the chain wheel and pedals to the bicycle and fits the chain into the sprockets, joining the two ends so the chain will travel in a perpetual loop. He flips the bicycle around to install the seat. And it's time to fold. The rear frame flips neatly under the main tube assembly. The front wheel locks onto the rear frame. Sliding the seat pillar down locks the fold and he lowers the steering column. After a final inspection, this folding bicycle is ready for the big city. And when dodging traffic becomes too much of a hassle, its owner can always fold and take public transit.